On the edge of Hodeida, the battle for territory is intensifying. It is a relentless fight, with both sides claiming they are making gains. Hodeida is the prize at the centre of this. Nearly 70% of Yemen's commercial imports pass through the city's port and practically all UN-supervised aid. Pro-government forces backed by Saudi Arabia say a major offensive is now underway to try to take Hodeida back from rebel Houthi fighters. The ones that have remained in Hodeida are in need of food, water and sanitation. Uh, the scarcity of essential uh, goods, uh, basic needs like food, uh, the prices of basic commodities have doubled and uh, main hospitals, uh, main infrastructure like hospitals and schools uh, have closed because of the war. The Houthis say they are also inflicting heavy losses on Saudi-backed fighters. This war, which is four years old, began when Houthi fighters captured the capital Sana'a. A coalition led by Saudi Arabia then launched a major campaign to try to restore the government recognized by the international community. Since then, the country has descended into chaos. And in a place where war has become a daily fight for survival, hunger has become the norm. One child under five in Yemen dies every 10 minutes. The diseases which are killing them are entirely preventable. Half a million people have fled the area around Hodeida since June when government forces tried to recapture the city. But for many, in the port city there is no escape and little chance of outside help. While the number of those remaining in Hodeida city is difficult to gauge, UNHCR is worried that people needing to flee for safety are unable to do so. They are trapped by military operations which are increasingly confining populations and cutting off exit routes. There are continued calls for a ceasefire and a political solution to be found for Yemen. These so far have been ignored, with neither side willing to compromise. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera.